Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. This is my cruelty free edition and all the products that I'm using today are by brands that do not test on animals. Most of the time when we buy makeup we don't really think about how a certain product is made. So today I hope this video helps you kind of just gravitate towards products that are cruelty free. So starting off I'm using my Burt's Bees Daily Sensitive Moisturizing Cream. This isn't a new product for me. I use this every single day and I love it. And I'm just applying it all over my face. And then for primer I'm using my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer and on the back of all of the Hard Candy products it says we love our animal friends we don't test our products on them I think that's so cute and this was actually my first ever primer so I really do like it again with Hard Candy I'm using the Glamouflage concealer I use this all the time this is probably my favorite concealer so I just dot it on my face and then spread it out with my finger and then blend it in with my elf flawless concealer brush To set my concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder. I use this every single day, and because I'm going to be using a powder foundation, I want to set the concealer because if I were to put the foundation right on top of the concealer, it'll look kind of cakey throughout the day. So I'm setting that first, and I'm using my Eco Tools Small Powder Brush for that. Foundation, I'm using the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This brush is the best for powder products. It is seriously amazing. Um, if you want to do a liquid, Physician's Formula has a BB Cream, One Wild also has a liquid foundation, and Urban Decay has a liquid foundation. Down below, I will have a list of um, brands that do not test on animals if you guys are interested. To bronze up my face, I'm using the Tarte Park Ave Princess. This is in the Tarte Off the Cuff palette. And I'm just bronzing up my face. I'm using my Eco Tools Tapered Brush. To contour, I'm using my favorite drugstore bronzer. It is the e.l.f. Cool bronzer and e.l.f. does not test on animals which is awesome and I am using my Real Techniques contour brush I'm just contouring my cheeks I'm also gonna contour my forehead and jawline I'm going back into the Tarte Off The Cuff palette and I'm using the blush called Doll Face and placing this right on my cheeks. I didn't want to go too crazy on the blush because I wanted the focus to be on my eyes. So now for my eyebrows, I decided to use the Flower Cosmetics um, Foxy Brown Squad and I took the darkest brown and filled in my eyebrows. I was a little bit nervous about this because I've had some issues with my eyebrows but this color worked really well. I don't even know how, why, but it did work really well, so I'm very happy about that. Like always, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. It's my favorite eyeshadow primer. If I didn't like it, I seriously wouldn't use it in every single one of my tutorials, so it's amazing. On to the eyeshadow. I'm using Wet n Wild's Going Into the Wild palette, and I'm picking up the eyelid shade on the left-hand side. It's like a brownie purpley color and I'm putting this in my crease and right above it. If you want to win this palette, stay tuned to the end of the end of this video, excuse me, and I will let you know how you could win it. So now I'm using the eyelid shade on the right hand side. It's a mint green and I'm using my Eco Tools small shader brush and placing that right on the lid, pretty much all over the lid. And then here I'm just blending the mint green in with the crease color. And then I'm going to pick up that dark kind of greenish black color. I think it's just a matte black and then it has green shimmer in it. That's what I'm thinking or that's what it looks like. But I'm just concentrating this on the outer portion of my eyelid. It's really pretty and I'm blending it out and I'm building up the color. Wet n Wild shadows are super pigmented so I kind of wanted to build it up and then blend it out so that I didn't apply too much all at once. And then here I'm just reapplying the mint green just in case I lost any when I added the black. So that's pretty much it for that eye. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing to my other eye. I'm highlighting with the brow bone shade on the left hand side. It's a shimmery like cream color. It's not too shimmery actually. I really like it. I usually like the matte um, cream highlights, but this one's not too bad. 
And then now I'm going back into the dark black green color and I'm going to line my lower lash line with this and I'm using my e.l.f. shader brush. And then I'm going to go on top of that with the mint green color. I kind of like the way it looked. I kind of just improvised that to be honest. So I'm doing the same thing to that eye. And then I'm lining my upper lash line with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in brown. And I'm going to do this to both my eyes. I'm just winging it out a little bit. I wouldn't even say it's a wing. I'm just extending the line a little bit. So I forgot to take a picture when I filmed this video, but for mascara, I'm using the Hard Candy Ginormous Lash Mascara, and this actually has a growth serum in it. And then I'm also using Physician's Formula Mascara. I'm making a super scary face because I always have a really weird face on when I put mascara, so that was kind of like a joke. But I don't use these mascaras as often as I should just because the brush part is so big. But this is the finished eyeshadow. Now onto lips, I'm using the Flower Lipstick in more. Morning Glory, I believe it's called. I'll list it down below just in case, but it kind of washed me out a little bit, like my lips were totally gone. So I used LG3 lip gloss on top, which is also by Flower Cosmetics. It's a pinky toned, so I thought that would add some color to my lips. But this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in like two seconds. Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching this Get Ready With Me, and as a surprise, I want to give away the eyeshadow palette that I used in this video. This is the Wet n Wild Going Into the Wild palette. This was their Spring Limited Edition palette. They also had another one, and when these came out, me and my sister seriously went to every single Walgreens and CVS in Miami, and we could not find it. My sister had to order these online off of Amazon.com. So I went to a local drugstore here in Miami, and I ran into this. It's brand new and I decided I was going to pick it up and give it to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are excited about this giveaway. I also have another giveaway going on right now. It's a holiday collab giveaway that will be linked down below as well. But for this one, all you have to do is comment down below anything that you would like anything. Comment whatever is on your mind and you will be entered in this giveaway. Also, don't forget like always you have to be subscribed and if you are under the age of 18 just make sure you have a parent's permission. This video is going to end in one week. I will write the date down below and also right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I forgot any rules or anything they will be down below so definitely check there. Uh, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'll see you next time. Peace.